Hello and welcome. We're on Moodle DIY. Do it yourself. Moodle, where you can get free Moodle hosting. This is absolutely amazing. And this is how we get started. First of all, you start with a free plan. And notice it's free forever. And then you go into claim your free plan now. Click on that. And then you add a name, any name. Um, for example, uh, I added, I already created a site. This is a Moodle site, but you can call it, let's see, online courses for free and then create site that easy notice how fast that is and then you'll get email notifications as well show my site details and take me to the site so let's go to the site you can create as many sites as you wish for free but i wouldn't go overboard because um you want to learn how to use Moodle, and if you already know how to use Moodle, you'll realize that one site is plenty. So uh, how do we get started once we have a site? Notice what we do here. First of all, we uh, take a look at what's here. There's the name at the top left. Let's go into Home. Notice uh, this is where you can add new courses, the dashboard. Okay, that's your dashboard and you can also customize that my courses there aren't any so you'll have to create one and then it'll appear here as well and then site administration if you've already uh, used Moodle as an admin now this will be uh, very familiar but if not this is what it looks like you'll have to familiarize yourself with this I offer free online courses on how to do this this is only for managers of a Moodle site. Notice you are not a real site administrator because not everything is here. For example, plugins. Notice you can get an overview, but you cannot install plugins. Keep that in mind. Let's go by, back to site administration. Notice um, under appearance theme, let's go into themes. Notice what your options are. You can use Boost. Academy Adaptable is the one that we're using right now and Move, which is my favorite. So I'm going to use that one. It's also completely free. Now we've got the blue strip that I like so much in Move. All right, so we can do that, which is great. Then we'll go to Server and see what's available here. Notice uh, there's quite a bit, including authentication, which means that you can add authentication or for people to create accounts using Google, they just click and uh, they go in, but you need to enable this and LinkedIn and so on Facebook. All right, let's go back to reports, go on, I should say to reports and then development. Be careful with all of these. However, debugging is really important. You'll learn about this and um, notice you can't do much here with a debug because it's already set for you. All right, so as I said, there are some um, differences between a real admin of a Moodle site and a manager. You get more than what managers get, which is nice. Uh, let's go back to appearance and see if there's anything else we can do here. Notice you can do quite a bit, which is nice of them to allow this for free. Uh, under plugins, you can go into the activity manager activities but as i said you can't really add any activities but you can enable notice some of them are hidden so if you want them you can just unhide them. okay that's based notice it also has google meet added and microsoft teams absolutely amazing and zoom if you're using zoom right let's go back into plugins and see what else is here i love this this is so nice Take a look at all of these. You can't break anything when you try things out. Okay, so that's um, the pl under plugins, grades, of course, you can set that up. Courses, we need to add courses and users. Let's see what you can do under users. Notice uh, you get a list of users. You can create cohorts. Let's see uh, permissions, define roles. You can define them. Let's see how many roles we have here. The regular number of roles, so we can define them. 
Let's go back into users, privacy, and let's see, assign system roles. If you want to register the site, go ahead and do it. That's a possibility. All right now, the name, I have another site, my own site, uh, and I'm the admin. So I'm going to be careful about this, but you can add your site if you don't have another one with the same name. And I think that's it. Let's go back into home and um, notice this is home available courses right so i think i've showed you everything except for courses notice when you go into manage courses uh, you'll create a category okay right now it's just categories so you can edit that and uh, add whatever you'd like it to be called so i'll call it online learning okay just to have something there and then i'll create a course under that category which is called free online courses or whatever you want to call it you also need a short name so f o c okay enable i'm gonna leave that open and then um, let's see what i have what options i have here i have these and only these which means i can add my favorite which is one topic so i'll have to do with whatever is here Okay, so you'll have to play around with those and then save and return. And it's going to be a long scroll, but there's my course. I'll be able to view it. There it is. Long scroll. There's the edit mode. Let me skip the tour. Go back into home. And there's the course. So I've got one course. Yay. So you can create as many courses as you wish. Thank you for watching. Notice the accessibility here. And the preferences, uh, you can make changes here according to your needs. For more information, join my course in May on how to manage a Moodle site such as this one.